Hey guys, today we are going to know how this statement works in Python. Okay, this statement is one of the most confused statements out here. So I thought let's make a video on that and let's debug everything about it. So before we do that, consider liking this video because this is one of the most confused topic out here and many people want want to know how this works. So if you like this video, this video, video gets to many people and many people benefits out of it. So after, after you have done that, let's get into the video. So in order to understand this statement better, let's take a small example. So for time being, let, let us command out this code. We'll come to this later. Okay. So I have made these three functions, which is pretty useless in real life. But for our, for our today's purpose, these functions really helps. Okay. So what this function actually does? The first function actually takes a number and adds pi to it. Okay. Second function actually multiplies 10 to a number and returns the value. Third function actually takes an arbitrary number, of, arbitrary number of arguments because with the help of arcs and if you don't know how arcs work, I have made a separate video on how arcs and quarks work in Python. Feel free to check that out. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description box below. Okay. And it returns the total of them. Okay. Now, I have also made some testing code over here. This is all our testing code. Testing code. Okay. What this testing code actually does is it actually initializes all of the functions over here and actually prints, prints out the answers. Okay. Let's now run this program. Okay. Let's now run this program and check whether our function is working correctly or not. And yep, I think it's correct. 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. Yeah. True. Um, 12 into 12 into 10 is equal to 120. Yep. And for the last function, it's 45. You're getting 45 as answer. I guess it's 45 when you when we actually add all of these numbers. So our functions are working correctly. So what's the point of showing these things to you? So now you have decided to import this first module dot y into the another module into another module so that you can reuse these functions. So you have made a new file named the second module dot y, and you have imported the first module over here. So if you run this file now, we run the second model that pi, something strange is going to happen. What is happening over here? As you can see, we only expected to print this hello world onto the console, but why the hell does the first model dot pi's print, print statement gets printed over into the second model dot pi? So now, the reason why it happens is when the Python module reads this import statement, import first module, what it does is it goes into the first module, it brings all of the code into the second module, and when it sees this print statement, it just executes that code. Okay, that's why we are seeing this 17, 120, 45 printing out in the second module. So now you might say to me, hey man, just comment out this code. Are you such a freak or what? Just comment out this code. Yeah, you could do that but there is even a better way to do this. Here is where that if underscore underscore name is equals to underscore underscore main thing comes into play, okay? Let me just uncomment this out and just uh, cut all of these statements and put them inside this if block, okay? Let me fix this indentation correctly. What is happening here? What is happening with my code? And yep. Now, if I run this code from the first model.py, it's gonna work properly. It's gonna print this 17, 120, and 45 as expected. And now, now we are gonna see some changes. When we import this first module into the second module and run this again, now we are not gonna see that uh, numbers printing out on the console. Now, I hope this proves you that one of the most important use cases of this statement, okay? So now, you might ask me, Munir, how this actually works? So, yeah, I'm going to explain that to you. So, when the Python file actually runs, Python interpreter actually sets some few special variables onto the file. One of the special variables is underscore underscore name underscore underscore, okay? And when the file is run directly as a main program, okay, when the file is run directly as a main program, this variable will be set to main, okay? Emphasizing to us that this program is run directly. But when we actually import this first module 
into the second module and run this program okay and run this first module what actually happens is it sets that underscore underscore name variable to the module's name here the module's name is first module so it sets that underscore underscore name to the module's name so in order to verify this okay whether what i am saying is correct or not let's run this print statement actually what this print statement does is it prints the underscore underscore name variable onto the console okay firstly let's run this this uh, print statement directly from the python enterprise from the as a main file and see what output we are getting as you can see as this python file is run directly as a main program the name underscore underscore name variable is set to main okay stating that this file is run directly as a main program but now i'm going to run the second model.py and let's see what that print statement prints out now as i said before when you are running this file as an imported one as an imported file the underscore underscore name variable of the first module will be set to the module's name here the module's name is first module that's why it's set to this name so i hope you understood what this underscore underscore name variable so now let's understand how this if statement actually works so as you know before as you know this name variable will be set to main variable when this python module is run directly as a main program that is the reason why this below code got executed when we run this file as a main program let's do it one more time and see whether what i am saying is correct or not yes we are correct the reason why this print statement got printed onto the console because this, this statement this if statement got evaluates to true why this if statement evaluated to true this if statement evaluated to true because we run this file as a main program but when we run this file as an imported program the name variable of this first module will be set to the module's name that is the reason why this if statement evaluates to false and this below code does not get printed onto the console let's now run the second module and check whether it's true or not and yeah it's not getting printed out of this is this is not getting printed onto the console i hope i today demystified what is this if underscore underscore name variable and what is this main thing in python this question is one of the most confusing question out there because this is one of the most requested and most asked question in stack overflow that that's the sole reason why i decided to make a video on this if you still have any clarifications or any doubts regarding today's video kindly put them down below don't don't hesitate please okay don't be hesitant to ask doubts i'll be the first one to clear all of your doubts okay please put them down in the comment section below if you're having any doubt basic to advanced i am here to help you guys so kindly put them down in the comment section below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video